Hi everyone, it's Duncan for RockandRealReviews.com, Scotland's number one review site for all things punk, rock, metal and movies. It's another Duncan's Quickie, which means I'm Duncan, and here comes a Quickie. Today's Quickie review is a film review, and it is in conjunction with a new segment which we are running on the website, the RockandRealReviews.com website, for the month of October uh, only. Uh, it's called Duncan for Apples, and as you can imagine, uh, it is focused around horrors, uh, specifically horrors that um, have come out this year. It's basically if you're having a horror film night or a wee film fest and a build up to All Hallows Eve, mwah, you uh, would probably want to check out some of the reviews I've done, uh, which will guide you to what's scary and what shit this year, because there's been a lot of it. Um, not the scary, the shit. Um, but recently, what I did for the website was I I did a kind of classic review, a twenty five uh, year anniversary review of the teen horror film The Lost Boys. Fucking classic film, which I love greatly, and it got me thinking: what other horror films are celebrating twenty five years uh, this year? And believe it or not, Hellraiser is. Um, that's the box from Hellraiser, just in case you don't know. All will be explained in a minute. Um, Hellraiser is 25 years old, and Hellraiser, to me, is still one of the best films um, of the horror genre of the 1980s because it is completely different from all your kind of slashers which dominated uh, the cinema in that decade. Um, the fact is written by my favourite author, uh, Clive Barker, um, obviously helps it uh, and uh, I love the film so much that I own props and have a tattoo uh, on the, the tattoo on this arm oops uh, of Pinhead uh, that's a Russian bear just in case but a tattoo of Pinhead on this arm um, I love it that much um, 25 years old this year like I said uh, Clive Barker adapted his novel The Hellbound Heart uh, into Hellraiser um, and uh, kind of, in my eyes, created a film which really stands out. Um, it is a very icky, very gory, but at the same time, very powerful uh, horror film. Um, and uh, let me give you a little plot without going too deep. We'll try and condense this into a quickie plot, so keep up with me. Essentially, the story involves a, a guy called Frank. He's a black sheep of the family, and he purchases this, a box, a puzzle box. Um, he opens the puzzle box, and he's visited by the Cenobites, who are basically sort of kind of pain, pleasure, thrill-seekers from, uh, from hell, from different dimension, who visit anyone that opens the box, and basically give them pleasure and pain in equal measure before taking their soul away. Um, Frank, unfortunately, fell, uh, falls prey to this and dies. Um, and then we flash forward to his brother and his new wife moving into the house where Frank has died. Um, and essentially, they're moving in to try and get a new start on their relationship. Things aren't well. She, Juliet, the wife, she has slept with Frank in the past and um, the sex was that good. And then she married the brother Larry and she's never been happy. There's always been a pit there. Um, after an accident in the house where Larry cuts his hand, um, blood spills an attic floor where Frank died uh, and reanimate his corpse. Um, but it is just like a corpse. It's all gnarly, missing skin, fucking uh, like that. Um, and Frank begs Julia to bring him more people, alive people, so he can steal their blood and become whole. Um, throw into this equation Larry's daughter, um, who's the heroine of the film called Kirsty, uh, and you've really got things kind of going in the direction of the film's uh, kind of climatic, sorry, freaky build-up. Um, the good thing about this film is not a lot of fucking horror happens really anywhere and towards the last half an hour it all starts to build up. The Cenobites aren't really used much at all until towards the end and when they are used, uh, Doug Bradley's presence as Pinhead um, is fucking powerful stuff. The fact that he's a proper Eng English thespian uh, really helps with it, you know, to, there's a degree of poignance behind lines like we'll tear your soul apart or uh, oh no tears child that's a waste of good suffering you know these sort of what would probably be cheesy lines if it didn't have the fucking poignancy of a man standing with pins coming at his head um 
the film, like I say, stands out because the 80s was dominated by a lot of the kind of slasher films. Uh, if you look at what came out in that decade, there was a couple of huge, still long-standing franchises like uh, Friday the 13th, for example, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, films like Black Christmas. You know, these films were all kind of the big sort of horror films of the, the, the 1980s, which really kind of pushed the genre into what would ultimately destroy uh, horror towards uh, the beginning of the 90s. Um, Hellraiser wasn't one of those films. It didn't kind of play into those kind of cheap jumps. Um, in fact, there's very few things about this film jumpy, um, other than the fact that it is fairly fucking visceral and it's right in your face. Um, when it is gory, it is gory as fuck. So um, that to me is a tick. Um, it's 25 years old. And yeah, the acting might be a bit hammy and the, the film itself, uh, the version I saw recently, I saw it at the cinema. Um, it's the first time I've seen it at the cinema, just last weekend. And they played the Blu-ray version of it and uh, what a fucking shambles uh, they did with remaster and that. Should always stick to the original sort of uh, the original print of it um, so if you can get your hands on the DVD version get the DVD version but like I say it's 25 years old uh, this year and it's worth checking out uh, I think if you're having a film fest or watching horror films building up uh, towards Halloween uh, that Hellraiser should be on your list it should be the classic film you want to watch so you should check it out uh, my score for it would be 4.5 stars out of 5 it's almost a flawless film in this reviewer's eyes but thanks for checking me out. Check out all my other reviews uh, for horror films, Duncan for Apples, on the rockandrealreviews.com website. They're all up there. See what's good and what's not. Um, and there'll be plenty more coming up towards Halloween. There's loads of music reviews, loads of film reviews up on the site just now. So make sure you check it out. Rockandrealreviews.com um, Thanks very much for watching me. Again, uh, this has been the Duncan McLeish for rockandrealreviews.com uh, and this is another quickie Thanks again, and I will catch you soon. Ha ha ha! Yoink!